Hey Jack, this is Keaton Everett from ABC, going over your pitching video from the spring break camp. Uh, we'll go over um, your mechanics, kind of what I'm seeing and, and what you're doing, kind of talk about some of the, the key phases of, of pitching and, and how to get ourselves consistent, how to deliver the ball with, with the most power we can and, and keep ourselves healthy. And First off, I just want to say, wow, this is um, some really good mechanics, especially for a kid your age. I am very impressed and, and really, you know, I'm going to have to nitpick you to, to fill the time to even find what, what's wrong here. And and there are a few things that, that you can do to help yourself out, but, I mean, overall, this is, you are solid mechanically and one of the best that I've seen for your age especially. So we'll just start over, um, start with, with how we're, we're starting our motion here. All right, start stepping off this side is good. You're not moving your head a whole lot. You're keeping the, your eyes on the on the target, which is nice. All right, coming up nice and nice and balanced. All right, this is this is really good. What I like to look at is what's your head and what's your spine doing over that back foot. All right, as you can see through through your entire motion, that head's just right on a swivel. All right, that body's right in line over that back leg. You know, not, not a whole lot of movement. It's really good. Okay? So everything's good right on the gate. Now, to get consistent, all right, we want to break our hands at the same time. We want to start our motion forward at the same time. We want the same leg lift height. We want the same everything um, over that rubber before we get going to start everything consistently down the mound, all right? Um, your hands... I prefer hands not to be set that high. Um, you know, you, you move kind of your hands up with your leg and then down with your leg. A lot of guys like to do that for timing. I prefer the limited motion, so keeping your hands, you know, set up in this area right along that belt, I'd prefer it. But again, something that, that isn't a, a huge imperative especially if you're consistent with your release point. If you're kind of inconsistent with your, with your hands, um, th then we'll kind of worry about it. Now what I do want to show you here are inconsistencies, breaking your hands and, and weight going forward over the rubber uh, between two of your, your pitches and just, just kind of see the difference. So we, so we marked, all right, this pitch was really good with your head. You know, you're, you're, you're staying over the body, you're staying back, then you're bringing that leg down and breaking the hands, and now you're going forward, all right? So let's go back and look at the previous pitch, all right, and see what happens here. So you're right out on the gate. A lot of t it's, it's tough with, with the, with the wind-up because there's a lot of movement, a lot of active parts that it's easy to, to get out in front. So right out on the gate, you're out in front and watch the head. Just, just keep going forward and see now you're here and you got that, that angled weight. You're not over that back leg and here I'll redraw that box and you're just drifting, 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 drifting and now I'm going to mark the first frame that we can see your hand on the glove okay so here's the first time we see that ball alright we got the, the body out over the front foot our heads you know basically you know maybe a foot length out in front of our our back leg now we'll go forward to, to the the one where you're balanced and we'll go to where we see that hand. Okay, now we see that hand down here. And look at that body weight over that back leg. All right, so there's those, those two variations between those two pitch. But that's going to be a big, you know, a big difference in each pitch. So, so the whole point of, of mechanics and refining and getting consistent is is limiting all that variation. So the more we can stay back over that back leg, the better off you're going to be. Okay. Um, so so after that, so that first pitch was you were out in front, you were you were leaking. The second pitch was was perfect. Okay. So now we're going to look at what's going on in foot strike. Your leg path to foot strike is great. Your arms are coming up. All right. You're keeping good angle. That a lot of times we we see these, especially this back elbow get above the shoulder and that puts that at a, at a, at a pretty high risk for injury alright you're keeping a good good arm path 
Now what you are doing with your front side is you are letting that glove leak down a little bit. All right. What we want to see is that glove stay about right in this position and then have that elbow rotate down to this spot and keeping that glove in that same position. All right. So you're just going to rotate that glove but keep that rotate that elbow but keep that glove out. That's going to pick up even a couple more inches on that fast on that uh, release point. Another thing too is looking at your back foot is that's over rotating a little bit. That just means you're either you're just just weak in the the ankle or you're over rotating your hips. It doesn't look like you're over rotating the hips. So you're just um, you're just getting that letting that back foot rotate over where you're dragging on top of your foot and it, you really should try to keep it and you'll see it pop up in this position all right you don't want to ever have that the tongue of your shoe uh, getting drag marks you're just you're just losing a lot of power not following through on that on that big toe and driving all that weight through throughout over that front foot so that's just another thing you can be aware of of just not letting that foot rotate over as much as as you are okay and and keeping that glove out over that front side once that ball's released all right that glove can do whatever it wants. That glove can drop down back here, can do, go here, can stay out in front, can do whatever it wants. But up until release, you want to keep it right out over this front foot. All right, so now we're going to go back and look at, at the one you rushed and see what, what the differences are at foot strike. Okay, one of the things you see when you're rushing is look at what your foot's doing. Your foot's already starting to point out. All right, your foot's left foot starting to leak out, getting out in front of your hips, and that's just pulling you off early. And now here's your foot strike. So let's let's mark where your foot strike is on this pitch. All right, again, good posture though. We we want to see a lot of times we'll see kids leaking out in front. A good posture then we'll, we'll fast forward to, to the next one so now see how everything's just a little more it's tough to say where exactly your foot strike is but Looks about right there. So, so you are getting in, in a getting yourself in a good position at foot strike each time. It's just a matter of of being consistent, getting there. And let's look at at what your foot's doing on on this first one. And so on this first one, your foot's actually not doesn't look like it's getting as rotated over. So these are just all inconsistencies in this release point is actually a little bit better that you can see that glove staying out there a little bit farther um, and you get a, a lot better angle with your body so there's a couple just variations just key consistencies that, that you need to clean up so you're doing exactly the same every time but overall really good all right you got got awesome mechanics you, you got a great foundation to really get consistent and injury free throughout your career so like to thank you for making it out to camp. Hope you had a great time, um, and good luck this season. And and uh, we look forward to seeing you again with ABC soon.